But first, we are digging deeper into a graffiti problem in Springfield. Good evening, I'm Katie Usen. And I'm Mark Allen. Two News first told you earlier this month about the tagging outbreak there. Rob Sneed's live digging deeper and what the city is doing about that problem. Rob? Well, Mark and Katie, authorities say graffiti is a huge problem in Springfield. But with help from the Graffiti Eradication Program, they hope vandals will get the message. The community will no longer tolerate this type of street art. It's hard to turn a corner and not see a building sprayed with graffiti in Springfield. Two News first brought this issue to the forefront earlier this month after speaking with local business owners who were frustrated with paying thousands of dollars to get it removed. It takes a graffiti vandalizer about 15 minutes to throw up a 6 foot by 10 foot tag. It takes me about two hours to remove that same tag with the equipment. I dug deeper and found that the problem is so bad, the city, with help from the Clark County Prosecutor's Office, started the graffiti eradication program, and Colin Payton is the supervisor. It's frustrating. Um, as both a member of the community, uh, as an artist, I think it's sort of bad art. Um, and it's, it's definitely vandalism. Twice a week, Peyton, along with people who committed low-risk crimes, head out to clean up the mess. It's counted as community service. We go to local businesses. We also go to the parks and on city-owned property to take care of any of the graffiti they have by either uh, blasting it off with our media blaster or painting over it or removing it with chem chemical solvents. Clark County Prosecutor Andy Wilson funds the program with a $55,000 grant. The, the city of Springfield uh, has this graffiti eradication uh, machine, and they've had it uh, for a, a little bit of time now. Uh, the problem is they don't have the manpower to, to, to run it. So we have people in our program that owe community service time. They have the machinery, so we've, we've got together and, and kind of uh, cooperated uh, and, and really what's turning out to be a, a great effort. Wilson says so far it appears to be doing the trick, but the challenge is stopping the vandals before they tag more buildings. He has a message for them. If we see your tag anywhere in the city or anything that looks like your tag, well, guess what? We're calling you in. And this service is free of charge. Now, Wilson says if vandals tag your property in Springfield, contact them. And we have that information on our website. Click on web links. Reporting live, Rob Sneed, 2 News, working for you.